Now, mobile phones in the classroom. Should students, uh, primary school students or even secondary sc school students, be allowed to use mobile phones or have access to a mobile phone while they're at school? Now, there's no doubt these things are a pretty important tool of the trade. They're part of our life. They're part of our work. And, yes, uh, particularly older students need to have a good idea of how to use them. But today, Victoria has become the first Australian state to say, from next year, mobile phones will not be allowed in public schools, at least, both primary and secondary, from the morning bell to the end of the school day. That means both in the playground and in the classroom, they're banned. Now, other states are considering what to do on this. We've seen different experience around the world as well. There are different views as to where the students should have access to a mobile phone or not. Dan Tehan is the Federal Education Minister. He has long argued they need to be banned. Kids should not be accessing mobile phones for a number of reasons. One is distraction in the classroom, but the second very important issue is cyberbullying. On Friday, Dan Tehan will sit down with his state and territory counterparts and try and get some national consensus on this to follow what he's warmly welcomed from Victoria today. I spoke to Dan Tehan a little earlier. Dan Tehan, thanks very much for your time. You, Let's just start with the problem itself. Is there much evidence that letting kids use mobile phones is actually damaging either their education or social uh, progress? Yes, there is. Um, teachers and principals say that it can be distracting in the classroom, uh, that they're not paying full attention. You know, you've had teachers talking about pings going off while they're trying to teach classes. Mm. So there is evidence that it's distracting. Uh, and there's also the other aspect of it, which is the cyberbullying side of it. And we've seen an increase in cyberbullying at schools, uh, and that's something else that needs to be confronted. And the best way to do that is by removing phones. And how widespread is the problem? How many kids at primary school, uh, let alone secondary school, are actually fiddling with phones during class? Well, fortunately at the moment, at, at primary level, uh, it's not as bad as what it is at secondary at level. High school, it's a... Uh, high school, it, it's, 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 it's very widespread. Mm -hmm. And, look, everywhere that I go when I'm talking to principals and teachers, this is one of the major concerns which is raised with me. Now, doing complete studies, because it's such a new phenomena, we're still trying to get a handle on, OK, what is the issue, what impact is it having, what is the broader impact it's having on student wellbeing. What's that? I mean, some would argue there's a benefit, particularly with older students, in getting getting a handle on how to use these things. Uh, they're part of my life, they're part yep, of your life. Absolutely, you know, yes. Can, can you go for an hour without your phone? <laughs> Do kids need, uh, teenage kids need to have uh, you know, a greater awareness of how to use phones and how, how well, to Well, of course, they'll get that opportunity outside of school and there would be nothing wrong with a school specifically saying, OK, we're going to spend an hour on mobile phone usage and everyone can bring their mobile phones and use them as for an hour, one, right? as long as you've got one, for, you know, for, for an instruction on that. But my view is what Victoria has done, they've shown clear leadership, uh, they've made a decisive decision and it's one that I welcome. It's one that I've been uh, pushing uh, since I became Education Minister. In the first interview that I gave, I said that schools should look at implementing a ban uh, and I very much welcome this move by Victoria. So in Victoria this will take effect from next year That's and right. it's from the start of the school day to the, the you know, closing bell That's right. Uh, and it's primary and secondary schools. Yes. Where are the other states at? Uh, so New South Wales have a ban when it comes to primary school uh, and they've made it optional when it comes to secondary school. So if schools want to implement a ban, they can. Uh, they want to, you know, talk to the school community, talk to the principals, the teachers, they can bring it in. Um, but I, I think what uh, Victoria has done is very clear, very decisive. It, it makes it very clear what the approach is and it's one that I welcome. And you'll be talking to the other states, all of the states, about this on Friday? Absolutely. So this was an election commitment uh, that we had at this election was to talk to state and territories about banning mobile phone usage at school. Uh, we're committed for bringing international experts from France and Ontario in Canada over to talk to state and territory education ministers about the bans they've put in place and how successful they've been. So we really hope mm. that other states and territories will now follow Victoria's lead. I guess lead. it has to be driven by the states, though. Is there any role for the federal government in 
legislating or, you know, the, the, the or states or... run schools yeah. uh, and what we want to do is work cooperatively with them uh, to see bans put in place. We don't want to be using draconian methods here. We want to just work cooperatively with states and encourage them uh, to follow the lead that's been taken by Victoria. And speaking of draconian measures, just finally on this, how do you police this sort of ban, mm. um, you know, you can put your phone on silent, you can hide it under the desk. You, you expect there will be a lot of students trying to flout the rules? Uh, look, there will be, but um, I've spoken to principals at schools where they already have bans in place mm. uh, and they just have a, a warning policy. Uh, they'll confiscate the phone. I guess that's going to work, right? Th th and that, you lose the phone. That is um, a, a very good measure and they say that once you've put those steps in place, the students buy into the concept and they say the transformation then that happens in the schoolyard is quite remarkable. The difference from people sitting on the school bench, playing on their phones themselves, texting Actually, their friends, to they each start to talk to each other, to each other. <laughs> they start to talk, David, kick to kick, you know, rolling your arm over who with the cricket ball, who would have thought? Everything that we, we took for granted um, as kids growing up and, and once, once the students start appreciating that, they say the cultural difference at, at the school is, is quite remarkable. Education Minister Dantine, thank you. Thanks, David.